The year is 2001. The world is a very dangerous place. As the fragments of the former Soviet Union slide deeper and deeper into chaos, the forces of crime and terror expand to fill the vacuum. There is war in the Balkans, war in the Middle East, war in a dozen hotspots around the world. Outnumbered and under siege, the Western democracies desperately struggle to keep the growing disorder from spilling across their borders. On the front lines of this strange war is the Counter-Terrorism Task Force, codenamed Rainbow. Operating out of bases on both sides of the Atlantic, Rainbow Thanks, operatives are poised to strike at a moment's notice anywhere on the globe. Although their existence is secret, their combined courage and vigilance have saved the lives of millions. Yet even now a new enemy looms in the East. An enemy greater than any Rainbow has ever faced. An enemy able to strike when and where he pleases bound only by his own hatred and ambition. An enemy armed with the most fearsome weapon known to man. Target acquired. Operation Pandora Trigger. A group of Egyptian extremists have stormed the Museum of Art in New York City during the opening festivities of a new exhibition of Egyptian antiquities. Your mission is to retake the building with minimal loss of life. Looks like we've got some new team members. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. But try to save the introductions for later. We've got work to do. Normally, the Feds handle hostage situations on American soil, but apparently we've got some very high-profile foreign nationals in there, among others the French Prime Minister's daughter. As a result, Paris and Brussels have both insisted that Rainbow run the extraction instead. Washington's not arguing. They just want those folks out. One more thing. Try to keep the collateral damage to a minimum. This is a museum, after all, not a shooting gallery. Right now. Escorting hostage.
Success. Objective completed. Operation Arctic Flare. Japanese terrorists have seized a Petromech oil tanker off the coast of Japan and are threatening to destroy it with explosives. Your mission is to board the vessel and neutralize the aggressors before they can trigger the explosive devices. Good work in New York. Intelligence is still trying to figure out how a small-time regional group like the Islamic Vanguard managed to launch an operation in the States. It's pretty obvious they had help. We just don't know from where. The people holding the tanker are rabid anti-nuclear types. They won't hesitate to blow the ship if they suspect you're on board. If that happens, the resulting oil slick will foul the plumbing of at least three nearby seawater-cooled reactors and bring down half of Japan's power grid. You'll have to hit them hard and fast. Let's get back in one piece. Tango's in sight. Target acquired. Gold sniper. Target Gold lost. sniper. Sights are hot. Objective completed. Hold up. Moving out. Alpha, go. Head down. 
Get Am I safe now? I'm escorting precious cargo. Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Sandhammer. Gunmen have seized a seawater treatment plant in Oman and are threatening to release a neural toxin into the local water supply if their demands are not met. Plant workers have also been taken hostage. Your mission is to liberate the plant and halt the release of the toxin. The situation in Oman doesn't add up. People holding the plant are novices, ex-students and small-time agitators. But they're very well armed, and they've managed to get a hold of a canister of Kurov DK, an old Soviet nerve agent. It's very nasty stuff, not the sort of thing you'd expect from a group of amateurs like this. Just like with the Islamic vanguard assault on the Met, it feels like someone bigger has put them up to it. Dr. Holt is with the Strategic Studies Institute. They're working with our intelligence people to see if they can track down who's pulling the strings. You can't just buy Soviet nerve gas on the black market. Whoever's behind this has connections in both the Russian military and the Islamic terror underground. We're probably talking either an ex-KGB agent or crime boss from one of the southern republics, or both. These days in Russia, there's so much overlap between the government and the mafia, it's hard to tell which is which. Let's get back in one piece. Tango's in sight. Roger that. Alpha, go! Move it, move it! All teams, all teams, move out!
Objective completed. Operation Lost Thunder. A helicopter containing NATO officials has been shot down over the city of Jakovica in Kosovo. The officials have been taken hostage by Serbian army irregulars. Your mission is to enter the contested area of the city and safely extract the hostages. The chopper was on its way back to the USS Nimitz from the peace talks at Pristina. Half a dozen people were on board, including some very senior policy people. We've been brought in because NATO wants to keep this operation totally black. Apparently, the Serbs want the treaty bad enough that they're willing to look the other way while we take out the bad guys. They just don't want to hear us gloat about it the next day. Am I safe now? Lead the way. Am I safe now? Mission success objective completed.
Operation Perfect Sword. Three days ago, Middle Eastern terrorists gained control of an Aegean Airlines airliner. The airplane is now stranded without fuel at Brussels Airport. Several hostages have already been executed. Your mission is to retake the airliner before further killings occur. Samed Vezirjade. Remember that name. He's a major player in the oil mafia in Azerbaijan. Very rich, very powerful, very anti-Western. We've tied him to the attack at the Met, the nerve gas release in Oman, and now this airplane hijacking. He's not even bothering to cover his tracks. He knows that with the current political chaos in Azerbaijan, there's no way we can touch him through normal channels. The oil mafia controls more territory than the Azeri government does. As for this current situation, in exactly one hour, the authorities at the Brussels airport will send out tanker trucks to refuel the jet. That will be our window to strike. Follow the trucks across the tarmac and take out the bad guys. Vezijade's motives are unclear. He's obviously not helping his oil business by backing operations like this. It looks as though what we have here is an idealist. He's launched his own private war against the West, and he's funding it entirely out of his own pocket. Sights are hot. are cold. Green sniper. Target lost. Red sniper. Negative Red sniper. sights are Target cold. acquired. Red sniper. Red sniper. Target lost. Target acquired. Alpha, go. Come your head down. Get Run. Me out of here. Escorting hostage. Red sniper. Red sniper. Target, Target acquired. Red sniper. Negative Red sniper. Sight. Target Cold. acquired. Stay, Stay here. Put. Please don't leave me. It's okay. You're safe. Now. Go. Escorting hostage. It's okay. You're Am safe I safe now? now? Red sniper. Negative Red sniper. sights are Target cold. acquired. Red sniper. Negative Red sniper. sights are Target cold. acquired. Alpha, go. Bravo, go. Threat neutralized. Come on, come on. Tango down. Got 
Got him! Got him! Tango down! It's okay. You're safe now. Escorting hostage. Mission success. Objective completed. Escort. Operation Crystal Arc. An anonymous informant has revealed the location of Veze Jardes Ducker in the Caucasus. Your mission is to infiltrate the area, plant surveillance devices within the building, and escape undetected. We've had a lucky break. Apparently, that hijacking was the last straw. One of Vezir Jade's business associates has come forward. He'll only talk under conditions of absolute anonymity, but everything he's told us so far checks out six ways to Sunday. He's given us the location of one of Vezir Jade's country houses. It's a favorite meeting place for the principals in his terror network. If we can get a bug in there, we may be able to predict where he's going to strike next. By the way... The decision from the higher-ups is to keep the Georgian government in the dark about this. Vezir Jade has too many friends in high places. If you get caught, NATO will deny that Rainbow even exists. Now to you, I am speaking, because with this airplane matter, it's clear now some it is, uh, how you say, out of control. Now in Russia, I am... A businessman, entrepreneur, killing airplane passengers, that's not good business. That is madness. His dacha is near the Black Sea, but he is not often there, yes? He is moving here, there, always. But his men are there, and they talk, and they make plans, and perhaps you will hear something to help you, huh? In return for this information, I want nothing. Please understand, I'm not stool pigeon. I am merely, as I say, businessman. <laughs> oh, and a patriot. Objective completed.
Objective completed. Objective completed. Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Silent Drum. Terrorists have stormed a television studio in London during a broadcast debate on European fiscal policy. Senior officers from the central banks of France, Spain and the Netherlands have all been taken hostage. Your mission is to recapture the station with minimal loss of life. The bugs you planted in Vezir Jade's house are working perfectly. Now we listen and wait. The people controlling the station call themselves the People's Parliament. They're British neo-Nazis, not too organized, but very violent. They've been broadcasting their manifesto non-stop for the last four hours, and they say they'll kill the hostages if anyone tries to pull the plug. No slip-ups, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to have an audience for this one.
careful out there. down. Come with me. Lead the way. Get me out of here. Get me out of here! Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Feral Burn. Intelligence gathered from Veze Jardes Dukka has revealed that criminal elements are illegally buying weapons from sources within the Russian military. Another purchase is scheduled to take place tonight at Dockside in St. Petersburg. Your mission is to prevent this exchange. Good work in London. They tell me you were the top-rated program on three continents. This intel about the weapons exchange is our first payoff from those bugs you planted. Normally, we wouldn't call out the cavalry over a few crates of hot AK-47s, but the way Vezir Jade's men were talking, this delivery is something special. We can't let the Russian authorities in on this. There's no telling who's involved. Just like in Georgia, if you get caught, you're on your own. The men making the buy work for a Russian gangster named Maxim Kutkin. He's a small-timer who's made a name for himself by brokering arms deals for people like Vezijade. I should add that he also happens to be Lukyan Barsakov.
one is important, folks. I'm Alpha, counting on go. you. Bravo, go. Bravo, go. Charlie, go. Charlie, go. Look up at the Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Diamond Edge. Nuclear weapons grade plutonium has been recovered during a rainbow interdiction operation in St. Petersburg. The material has been traced to a weapons storage facility near Murmansk. Your mission is to raid the facility and take control of any remaining fissile material. You hit the jackpot. Those suitcases contained almost $2 million American and enough plutonium to level a city. The installation the material came from is a storage facility for tactical warheads used by the Russian Navy. It's run by a Colonel Rudenko, who until yesterday had a perfect service record. The Kremlin publicly admits nothing, but privately they're extremely embarrassed. They've agreed to let Rainbow shut Rudenko's operation down. That's how little confidence they have in their own forces. Be sure to bring the good colonel out alive. We'll want him for questioning. We've been afraid something like this would happen for a long time. The Russian military is coming apart at the seams. Some units haven't been paid for over a year. It was only a matter of time before there was a major security breach. The Kremlin is taking a huge gamble in using Rainbow for this operation. The only people who know about this are the President and a few of his closest aides. If this operation is botched, it'll bring down the government. Tangos have body armor. Place your shots carefully. Threat neutralized.
Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Silver Snake. Rainbow's Russian informant has revealed that a major meeting of Vezejade's men will take place at his Georgian Dhaka. Your mission is to raid the meeting and obtain a set of computer files that are believed to contain details of Vezejade's nuclear weapons purchases. Very clean work in Murmansk. There hasn't been a word of it in the Russian press. We finished questioning Rudenko. He sold plutonium to Kutkin twice before. Enough material for four low-yield bombs. We don't think Vezir Jade has a working device yet. If he did, he would have used it already. But the situation could change at any moment. It is absolutely essential that you recover those files, no matter what the cost. I am disgraced. I have betrayed both my country and my god. But what else was I to do? There was no money. My men had no food. All that came from Moscow was empty promises. Why should honest men starve while gangsters prosper? The nuclear bombs it was then? Oh, that what I was afraid of. Maxim promised that was only the guns. But he is greedy, he is ambitious. Believe me when I say I didn't know things had gone so far. Summit. Summit will stop at nothing. He will not hesitate to use those bombs on military bases, on ports, on cities, no matter the consequence. That's how much he hates the Americans and their friends. Let's get back in one piece. Tango's in sight. Tango down! Roger that. Bravo. Charlie. Go. Go. Tango down.
Вы сами этого не... Objective completed. Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Oracle Stone. Intelligence gathered from the raid on Vezejade's Dhaka has revealed that Kutkin is assembling nuclear weapons at an unknown location in Siberia. Your mission is to infiltrate Kutkin's private spa, plant surveillance devices, and escape without being detected. Those files you pulled out of Vezir Jade's computer have given us a much clearer picture of what's going on. Kutkin has set up an operation somewhere in Siberia to turn the raw plutonium into working bombs. We need to know where it's located, so we can go in and shut it down. Kutkin's spa is in the countryside, near Smolensk. He and his cronies snapped it up cheap during the breakup of the Soviet Union and have turned it into their own private resort. It's not particularly well guarded, but Kutkin has a number of house guests at the moment, so it may be tough getting in and out without being seen.
This is a recon mission. If they see you, that's it. Objective completed. Objective completed. Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Temple Gate. Terrorists have stormed the Opera House in Prague during a command performance. The Czech president has been taken hostage, along with several prominent diplomats. Your mission is to liberate the hostages with minimal loss of life. This is Vezir Jade's payback for the strike on his dacha. The group that's holding the building is a smorgasbord of his terrorist underground. Neo-Marxists, Basque separatists, Islamic fundamentalists. The cost to set up an operation like this must have been staggering. We're monitoring the bugs you left behind in Kutkin's spa, but we haven't gotten anything useful yet. President Hasek has been pushing the recent Czech crackdown on organized crime. That's probably how he got on Vezijade's hit list. They're demanding the release of virtually every terrorist arrested over the last five years, as well as the delivery of a huge cache of weapons. There's no chance of these demands being met, and Vezijade knows it. He's just showing us that despite our best efforts, he can strike when and where he pleases.
got a lot of people watching this one. Don't let me down. Alpha, go. Bravo, go. Got him. Charlie, go! Come on, come on! Move it, move it! Got him! Got him! Threat neutralized. Keep your head down. Keep your head down. Escorting precious cargo. Escorting precious cargo. Okay, you're Use safe away. now. Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Sargasso Fade. Intelligence gathered from Kutkin's spa has located his nuclear weapon production facility in an abandoned radar base near the Siberian town of Svetlogorsk. Your mission is to raid the base and shut down its operation. We'll run this operation in several stages. The first step in the plan is to sever all communication between the base and the outside world. Think carefully about who and what you're taking along on this one. Once you're on the ground in Siberia, you'll be on your own. 
there won't be time to send in any backup. The communications facility is on a hill overlooking the main base. Be sure you don't alert the main base of your presence. You'll deal with them soon enough. Kutkin has a whole team of ex-Soviet scientists working for him. Willingly or not, we don't know. Try to keep as many of them alive as possible. We'll want to question them later. Mr. Clark, I pray there is still time to stop Vezizade's monstrous undertaking. If I had acted sooner, this never would have happened. I am to blame for this as much as Maxim or that pitiful colonel. I am a man of responsibilities, and I have let others shoulder my burden for too long. So, before it is too late, these things must be put right, and I will see to it myself. Tangos have radios. Time your assault carefully. Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Majestic Gold. Communication between the base and the outside world has been cut. Your final objective is to enter the main complex and use explosive charges to destroy the core of the bomb manufacturing facility. None of Kutkin's men must be allowed to leave the base. You're almost home free. The primary target is the machine shop used to fashion the nuclear core. The secondary target is the base generator. Expect some serious opposition. A lot of the guards are ex-military and they're well armed. And remember, try to minimize casualties among the base scientists. You might also be interested to learn that Dr. Holt has some information about our anonymous informant. We now believe that the man who's been feeding us information about Vezijade and Kutkin is none other than Lukyan Barsakov, the Russian godfather himself. Apparently, he's had his suspicions about his son-in-law for years, but he needed us to dig up the dirt. While you've been hanging out north of the Arctic Circle, Moscow and St. Petersburg have been caught in the middle of a full-scale gang war. Dozens of people on both sides are already dead. We'll need Barsakov's input if we're going to find Kutkin. 
I'm going to see if I can contact him directly. Wish me luck. This one is important, folks. I'm counting on you. Alpha, go! Objective completed. Go. Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Frost Light. Susan Holt and Lukyan Barsakov have been captured by Kutkin's men and taken to his spa near Smolensk. Barsakov is believed to possess valuable information about Vezejade's nuclear capabilities. Your mission is to take the spa by force and free both Holt and Barsakov. Bad news. We recovered two devices from the Siberian operation, but the records show that two more have already been transported west. We think Kutkin has them, but he'll be looking to make the exchange with Vezir Jade as soon as possible. That exchange cannot be allowed to take place. A bomb that size detonated in a major metropolitan area 
would kill millions. Barsakov was betrayed by his own men. Apparently, Kutkin had been plotting to get rid of the old man for years. It was just our bad luck that Dr. Holt happened to be at his house when they came for him. We've got to get them out and find out what they know before the devices change hands. Right behind you. Green sniper, target acquired. <laughs> Green sniper, sights are hot. Green sniper, target lost. Green sniper, target acquired. Green sniper, target lost. Green sniper, sights are cold. Green sniper, target acquired. Green sniper, sights are Green cold. sniper, sights are hot. Green sniper, sights Green are sniper, hot. target lost. It's okay. Green You're sniper, target Escorting lost. Escorting precious cargo. Sniper, sights are green hot. sniper, sights are cold. green sniper, target acquired. Green sniper, target green sniper, acquired. sights are cold. <laughs> green sniper, sights are hot. Green sniper, sights are hot. Green sniper, sights are cold. Green sniper, target acquired. Green sniper, target acquired. Green sniper, sights are hot. Green sniper, head target down. acquired. I'm right behind you. Green sniper, target green sniper, lost. target lost. Green sniper, target green acquired. sniper, target green sniper, lost. Green sniper, lost. Green sniper hot. target lost. Green sniper, target acquired. Green sniper, target lost. Green sniper, target Green acquired. sniper, sights are cold. Objective completed. Objective completed. Operation Hero Claw. 
Information provided by Barsukov has revealed that Kutkin is planning to personally deliver the two remaining nuclear devices to Vezejade's men in a train yard in Moscow. Your mission is to raid the site and prevent the exchange from taking place. We don't have much time. The bombs will be transported in two suitcases. You'll need to take out the couriers quickly. If Kutkin is tipped off to what's going on, he may detonate the devices on the spot. You can imagine what the Russian military response will be if Moscow suddenly vanishes under a mushroom cloud. We could be talking World War III here. You guys don't fool around. The way you got us out of Kutkin's spa, just amazing. I think Kutkin is cracking up. On some level, he's got to know his days are numbered. That makes him all the more dangerous. There's no telling what he will do. You know, there is an expression, how you say, you know, honor among thieves. <laughs> that may be true, but Maxim is family. Maxim was family. And if there is no honor in family, then there is no honor anywhere. And Russia has become, just like America today, is the money that matters, not honor. Not family. Only the money. Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Ebony Horse. Upon interrogation, one of Vezejade's men has revealed the location of his base of operations in Azerbaijan. Your mission is to raid this stronghold, take Vezejade into custody, and destroy the heart of his terrorist organization. Good work in Moscow. Talk about the nick of time. The devices have both been disarmed. Their yields were in the 100 kiloton range, definitely powerful enough to flatten a city. The Azeri government has seen the writing on the wall and has already washed its hands of Vezerjade. We've been given the mandate to go in and flush him out. His stronghold is a 400-year-old Persian fortress in the hills near the Caspian Sea. His guards are well-trained, well-armed, and fanatically loyal. They won't give up without a bitter fight. Our orders are to take Vezir Jade alive, but I doubt he'll give you that option. Careful out there. Alpha, go!
Alpha, go. Не могу больше! down.
Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Zero Gambit. Maxim Kutkin and a small group of his followers have seized the Cherkasy nuclear power plant in Ukraine. They are threatening to shut off its cooling system, triggering a reactor meltdown. Your mission is to retake the plant and neutralize the terrorists before they can initiate this event. Kutkin wasn't killed at the Moscow train yard after all. The body we thought was his actually belonged to one of his lieutenants. He's been issuing demands non-stop since his men stormed the plant 12 hours ago, but none of them make any sense. It's obvious that he's gone off the deep end. If he carries out his threat, we're talking a virtual rerun of Chernobyl. Tens of thousands of square miles of Ukrainian countryside contaminated with radioactive waste. The cooling system can be shut down from either of two control rooms at opposite ends of the plant. You'll have to hit them both, almost simultaneously. Good luck, and Godspeed. The situation is extremely delicate. Kutkin is a dead man, and he knows it. The only thing he cares about is taking as many people as possible with him. If he gets even a hint that you're moving against him, bang, he'll pull the trigger. Our thoughts and prayers will be with you. Take care, and, how does John put it, watch your six. This one is important, folks. I'm counting on you. Objective completed.
Objective completed. It's all over but the mopping up. We got a definite ID on Kutkin's body. He won't be coming back for an encore. According to Intel, all that's left of his operation is the small fry anyway. The same for Vezir Jadis. The Russian authorities have started making arrests and every kilo of missing plutonium has been accounted for. Because of his help, Barsakov has been granted total immunity in the matter. The last report I got, he and his daughter have left Moscow and have moved to Smolensk to take over operation of Kutkin's spa. Sly old crook. He claims he's retired from business. What business that would be, of course, he declines to say. Somehow I think we haven't heard the last of Luke. Susan sends her regards. Rest up, team. You deserve it. Clark out. Maxime was a fool, but he had excellent taste. I will be quite comfortable Lukian. here. Lukian. Yes, what, what, what is it? A matter for your attention, Lukian, concerning our branch office in Odessa. Can't it wait? I am weary for my trip. It is urgent, Lukian. The Ukrainians, the brothers, uh, they say they won't pay. <laughs> Mr. Clark, it has been a pleasure working together, yes? But we should part company while we are still... Friends. And friends do not spy on each other, hmm? The communists, privacy they never understood. But you are American. You understand how precious a man's privacy can be. Farewell, Mr. Clark. Operation Iron Comet. Kurdish extremists have raided ceasefire talks in Turkey and kidnapped the UN negotiator and his aide. The Turkish police have tracked the kidnappers to an open-air market in Istanbul. Your mission is to neutralize the terrorists and escort their captives to safety. The police can't put up a cordon without the kidnappers knowing something's up. So the target area will be crawling with civilians. These guys are experienced guerrilla fighters. They're well armed and are accustomed to combat. So don't expect them to roll over and play dead just because they take a few casualties. 
You'll need to be quick, or those hostages are dead meat. Good luck. The situation is very delicate. The Kurds have been fighting the Turkish government since the 70s. Until this latest round of talks, no one expected either side to accept a negotiated peace. That they're actually ready to sign a deal is due almost entirely to the efforts of Syed Elwani, the UN negotiator who has been leading the talks. Now with Elwani's kidnapping, the whole process is in danger of unraveling. It is absolutely essential that Elwani be rescued. Am I safe now? Escorting precious cargo. Objective completed. Mission success. Objective Keep completed. Your head down. Escorting precious cargo. Operation Virgin Moon. Radical Irish loyalists fleeing after a bomb blast in central London have barricaded themselves in an underground railway station. Your mission is to retake the station and rescue the commuters who are held hostage. Normally, the SAS handles incidents like this on British soil. Unfortunately, their London HRT team is already engaged with the hostage situation in Whitehall, and they've asked for our help. The explosion was in a flat in Smithfield. When the police showed up, the suspects traded shots with them, then made a run for it. They only got as far as the underground station before they were surrounded. They're panicked and extremely well-armed. A very dangerous combination. It's unusual for a loyalist group to strike outside Northern Ireland. The explosion was probably not intentional. 
More likely the flat was an underground bomb factory and someone just happened to connect the wrong wire. We've got a lot of people watching this one. Don't let me down. out of here. Am I safe now? Mission success. Objective here. completed. Operation Aztec Palace Members of an apocalyptic cult have seized control of a Venetian library housing a collection of rare medieval manuscripts. 
They have planted bombs in the building that we believe are set to detonate within the hour. Your mission is to regain control of the library and prevent the bomb's detonation. The group holding the library call themselves Universal Harmony. They're mostly American, a fringe New Age cult out of New Mexico. Apparently, they believe that one of the books in the Alberti collection has some sort of mystical significance. They haven't issued any demands, but our surveillance indicates that they've set explosives in the building. Intel thinks we may have a mass suicide in the making. Our job is to retake the place before they can blow it up. They let the library staff go a few hours ago, so you won't have to worry about hostages. Frankly, the biggest danger you'll face will be premature detonation of explosives. It's vitally important that none of the cult members be allowed to raise the alarm. Objective completed. 7. Marxist revolutionaries have raided an international economic summit in Mexico City. After being driven back by police, the terrorists have retreated to their headquarters in a warehouse district near downtown. Your mission is to flush the terrorists out and neutralize them. The group calls itself the Popular National Liberation Army. They've been making trouble in the countryside for years, but the local authorities didn't think they had the resources to mount an urban attack. Force F, Mexico's own CT squad, is handling mop-up operations at the summit, so we've been tapped to run the assault. Watch your sixes in there. It's a real hamster run. The EPLN is your standard homegrown Marxist revolution. Their aims are rather vague but their main agenda item seems to be land reform for the indigenous Indian population in the southeast. Over the last five years, they've killed 13 Mexican security officers in a number of small skirmishes, but this is the first time they've struck at a major international target.
these tangos are wearing body armor. Remember that, and you'll do fine. Contact. Threat neutralized. Tango down! Got him! Oh, no. Fall back! Tango down! Tango down! Alpha, go! Got him! Green sniper, target acquired. Gold sniper, target Gold acquired. Green sniper, Gold negative sight green sniper, target lost. Green sniper, Gold target sniper, acquired. target acquired. Green Gold sniper, sniper. Negative sights are cold. Green sniper, negative sights are cold. Tango down. Gold sniper, target acquired. Go. Tango down. Threat neutralized. Got him. Bravo. Go. Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Jade Key. Chinese gangsters have attacked a hotel where Hong Kong's chief executive was dining with a delegation of prominent foreign business leaders. Your mission is to rescue the kidnapped dignitaries with minimum loss of life. Given the extreme high profile of the hostages, Beijing has asked us to work with the Hong Kong Police Department to resolve the situation. Their special duties unit has established a basic perimeter, but we'll be the ones making the hit. We'll have to move quick. The intel we're getting suggests that the gunmen are prepped to move the hostages out of the building. We need to take them out now. During the British occupation, there were always rumors that the mainland was pumping money into the local criminal underground. Now that the People's Republic is running the show, they're cracking down on their former allies. The Hong Kong police have arrested several prominent triad members over the last few months. This attack against the chief executive is clearly a desperation move by the remaining bosses. Got a lot of people watching this one. Don't let me down. Contact. Got him! Charlie, go! Threat neutralized. Tango down! 
Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Lucky Snare. A small private plane belonging to the ranking military commander of Bolivia suffered mechanical trouble and was forced to land in the jungles of Upper Bolivia. General Sixto and his household staff survived the landing but have been taken prisoner by a group of rebel insurgents camped nearby. Sometimes the bad guys just get lucky. The EGTK is a fringe group of anti-government terrorists who've been a marginal threat for years living among the native ruins in the jungle. Then their biggest enemy drops right into their laps. Normally, of course, this would be an internal Bolivian matter. But the Bolivian president is a little curious why Sixto took an unscheduled flight towards Colombia with a million dollars in hard currency, his entire household, plus several crates of advanced weaponry. Let's get the general back for a few questions. The EGTK is an underfunded, underwhelming group of regional terrorists. But given the density of the terrain and their lucky weapons cache, this will be a difficult mission. Due to the threat of man-portable anti-air, we'll have to set you down several kilometers away and have you insert on foot. Satellite scans of the region show a deep gorge between your insertion site and the downed plane. That jungle will be teeming with gorillas in no time flat. So get in, get General Sixto, and get out quick.
one is important, folks. I'm counting on you. Tango's in sight. Tango down! Got him! Tango down! Threat neutralized. Got him! Got him! Am I safe now? I'm escorting hostage. Keep your head down. Lead the way. Come with me. I'm right behind. Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Arctic Zebra. Two days ago, a malfunctioning Russian spy satellite made a soft landing near an international Arctic Circle research station. The scientists there were able to recover much of the satellite intact and bring it back to the station. Shortly thereafter, all contact with the station was lost. Subsequent aerial scans of the area reveal evidence of a large armed force now in possession of the station. This mission has rainbow written all over it. The group holding the station is a Vladivostok-based mercenary outfit with ties to Beijing. Their plan appears to have been a quick strike to recover sensitive satellite data on the Sino-Russian border, 
but a violent snowstorm bogged down the operation and kept their helicopter reinforcements grounded. Keep it fast and sharp. You don't have much time before those reinforcements show up. You're going to be inserted by a converted American boomer sub pushing up through the ice pack a few hundred meters outside the station. You've got to hit the station fast and hard. You should catch them by surprise, but that won't last long. Your obvious mission is to rescue the surviving scientists, but that's not all. Under the cover of rescuing the prisoners, we need one of your operatives to replace a key data module of the satellite with this falsified data module. We can then track the bad data all the way back to whoever paid for it. Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Brazen Heart. Routine aerial surveillance of American missile silos in North America revealed that a single silo in North Dakota had had the solid concrete blocks removed in violation of international treaty. Federal investigators arriving to inspect the abandoned station were driven back by automatic gunfire. The American government is desperate to avoid another armed standoff with disgruntled terrorist militiamen, so they're playing it cool for now. The militia has aggressively defended its visible perimeter, so there's no picket line in sight. Make no mistake, though, these guys are pinned down and they know it. You're not going to like the insertion on this one. Your team will make a black parachute pre-dawn halo drop into the perimeter. Secure yourselves in an empty building until dawn breaks, and then hit them like a hurricane. America is letting us play ball on her turf, so don't make any mistakes. The leader of the so-called militia calls himself Son of John Brown. He claims that if the U.S. government does not reveal the extraterrestrials in its ranks, he will detonate the nuclear warhead. The government is telling the media it won't escalate the situation with a madman who cannot override the safety locks. The real story is very different. We picked up an encrypted, high-frequency carrier signal coming out of the bunker. Analysis indicates that highly classified missile details are being broadcast outside the U.S. I'll bet that once the transmission is finished, the madmen will come to their senses and surrender. You've got to cut that data stream now. In all likelihood, the targets inside the silo are not 
angry average Americans, but highly trained mercenaries. Operation Brazen Heart, routine. These tangos have radios. Time your assault carefully. Alpha, go. Alpha, go!
Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Desert Dragon. An unknown terrorist group has taken over the Japanese embassy in Caracas, Venezuela, during a party being held for visiting Japanese dignitaries. Your mission is to subdue the terrorists and rescue all of the hostages. The terrorists have separated the hostages into two groups. It's important to take out the terrorists guarding both groups at the same time so that they won't be able to alert each other. These hostages are all prominent political leaders, so be careful. Losing any one of them would cause all sorts of trouble. This mission reminds me of the operation at the Japanese embassy in Peru back in 97, when the embassy was held for four months. With luck, this will be resolved a lot faster than that. Tango down!
Bravo, go. Move it, move Tango it! Down. Threat neutralized. Go! Tango it's okay. down. You're Get safe now. Here. Escorting okay. hostage. You're safe now. Escorting hostage. Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Silent Ace. An unknown terrorist group has seized an Italian cruise ship anchored near Tunis, Tunisia. High explosives have been detected on board, and two passengers have been taken hostage. A night assault is Rainbow's only chance to safely extricate the hostages. Your mission is to disarm the bomb and liberate the captives. The Re de Tuto is a 100-meter luxury cruise ship designed for an elite clientele. We've located two bombs aboard the ship. Now both have been placed on the third deck, with one in the ship's casino and the other in the bar at the other end of the vessel. They're both well guarded. The hostages seem to be held somewhere below the main decks of the ship. Get in? Disable the bombs, and then get those hostages out alive. The terrorists have started posting their ransom demands for each passenger. And if we don't wrap this up quickly, matters could get extremely complicated. With the information we've got, the resemblance between a 1985 cruise ship attack and the one we're looking at now is too close to ignore. We still don't know who these guys are or what they want, but they're well organized and well equipped. This one is important, folks. I'm counting on you. Objective Threat completed. Threat neutralized. Objective completed. Bravo, go. Charlie, go. Got him.
It's okay. Lead You're the way. Now. Lead the way. Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Copper King. Terrorists have crossed into the town of Loyada in Djibouti and captured a school bus full of passengers. You must stop the terrorists without any casualties among the hostages. Your mission is to prevent the bus from crossing the border. This mission requires absolute stealth, followed by quick, decisive action. The terrorists must be stopped before they can get the bus into Somalian territory. Once it crosses over, it's going to be impossible to get it back without a major international incident. Reports indicate that the hostages have been tied up in the back of the vehicle. We're also told that only one of the terrorists is on board driving the bus, and there appears to be others in the surrounding area running interference. We're starting to get a picture of what's going on here. We strongly believe the current situation to be a recreation of a historic rescue made in Djibouti by the French. Coincidence? I doubt it. We don't have hard evidence to back up our copycat theory, but it seems to fit the available data. And if so, that means we'll be dealing with another aspect of the same terrorist organization. If the terrorists successfully get the bus into Somalia, the risk to the hostages' lives will be greatly increased. We don't want to start a border war over this one, so you're going to have to move fast. And just to make things more interesting, the hostage takers are demanding not money this time, but weapons. If the government of Djibouti gives in, odds are that they'll see those guns in gorillas' hands, and we'll see them the next time our copycat hits. Tangos have radios. If they see you, that's it. What? Huh? Intruders! Mission success. Objective completed.
Operation Coarse Blade. An unknown terrorist group has captured United Nations peacekeepers in Nigeria and is holding them hostage in their jungle-based camp. The terrorists are heavily armed and well-prepared, and they are most likely expecting an assault from foreign forces. Your mission is to neutralize their anti-aircraft weapons, liberate the hostages, and capture the group leader alive so that he can be interrogated. It seems that our terrorist group has gotten comfortable in Africa. All of their other attacks have been extremely clean, and this one looks like no exception. We need information on these groups, and we need it now. A recon team located the most likely candidate for leader of this particular group. We need to capture him alive. A thorough interrogation should reveal what these terrorists actually want, as opposed to the rather scattershot demands we've been getting. This operation will need to be an all-out assault on the revolutionaries' jungle base camp. The terrorists are heavily armed and their base is well protected. We'll need to get the hostages out by air, so taking out their anti-aircraft emplacements is extremely important. Peacekeeping convoys in this area are often attacked for their vehicles and weapons, but it's rare for the guerrillas to take hostages. An attack exactly like our current situation took place in September of 2000, when a group demanding the release of their imprisoned leader held 11 UN peacekeepers hostage in Sierra Leone. Intelligence has concluded this to be yet another reenactment of a previous terrorist crisis. But the motivation behind this and the other attacks remain a complete mystery. Our only hope is that if we get our hands on their leader, we can get some answers. Objective completed. Mission success. Objective completed. Now? Operation Spirit Clasp. Terrorists have taken control of a hospital in Pattaya, Thailand, and are threatening to execute their hostages one by one if their demands are not met. Your mission is twofold. First, you must intercept a communication link from the terrorists to their home base before they have a chance to break the connection. Second, you must eliminate the terrorists and liberate the hospital. The intel team is just now catching up with our real enemy's maneuvers. It seems he's been one step ahead of us the whole time. We may be able to locate the copycat, that's the name Intel's been using for the figure behind the assault, if we can pull the connection data from one of the mobile communication units the terrorists used to contact him. Our targets will break the connection at the first sign of hostilities, so the team going after the device must be as stealthy as possible. Gunplay will alert the terrorists, and they'll likely sever the link immediately. There are still some medical personnel in the hospital, so watch your step. The Thai government has expressed a wish that Rainbow handle this operation, 
perhaps because there are still repercussions from the 2000 hospital seizure in Ratchaburi that this assault is clearly modeled upon. Furthermore, the top of the terrorist list of demands is that the Thai government turn over a pair of officials implicated in some of the recent violent crackdowns on protesters, and they don't want to get anywhere near that situation. We have learned from Kautingu Safania, the captured leader from the Nigerian mission, that there is in fact one man orchestrating all of these terrorist reenactments. Our target calls himself the copycat, and he supplied Safania with arms and cash to perform a very specific task. Safania was paid handsomely to capture the peacekeeper convoy and hold the hostages at his camp until further instruction. He was also told to expect rainbow intervention. Safania also claims that he was told that his people could keep anything they managed to capture, either from the UN peacekeepers or from downed rainbow team members. Apparently, the copycat didn't care about the hostages or the loot. He just wanted to test Rainbow, and perhaps to expose it. Safania also informed us that the copycat communicates with his hired mercenaries prior to every attack through a mobile communications unit. The terrorists deactivate the communicator at the first sign of assault, and the connection is lost. The mobile unit will have to be intercepted while still active so that we can trace the signal back to its source. This one is important, folks. I'm counting on you. Alpha, go! Objective completed.
Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Golden Song. Terrorists have seized a Dutch high-speed train taking its passengers as hostages. The train is currently halted in a small station near the German border, and the local authorities are trying to negotiate with the hostage-takers, who have refused all attempts so far. Your mission is to free the hostages and escort them to safety. Our copycat is at it again. He's not as smart as he thinks he is, though. We were monitoring his communications, so we already had the team in place when they made their demands for Rainbow. We can be sure they weren't expecting us to respond so quickly, and we'll use this to our advantage. We've already pinned them by cutting power to the rail line. As I noted previously, the terrorists are demanding that Rainbow, and only Rainbow, be dispatched to the scene. Fortunately, this demand was made only through channels, which is a win for us. The world at large simply knows about their ransom demands. The Dutch government has therefore requested us, and it behooves us, to move quickly before the terrorists decide to share the news of Rainbow's existence with a wider audience. Just to make sure we know they're serious, they've already shot the engineer. No one else has been hurt so far, but the clock is ticking. They have people stationed inside the station, as well as in and around the train. Getting on board without being noticed is going to be difficult, but there's no other way to do this. If they find out you're there, they won't hesitate to execute hostages, and we're going to have a lot of explaining to do. Let me reiterate this. These guys are extremely professional. They clean up out of themselves, they don't leave clues, and we don't have a handle on why the copycat is having them recreate all of these incidents for him. It can't be for the money. With the firepower and expertise they've got, they could have picked easier ways to cash in. What we do know is that copycats people are pros, they're experienced, and they're good. If I had to hazard a guess, I'd say they're mercenaries hired to play terrorist. I can't think of another scenario that makes sense. We've got a lot of people watching this one. Don't let me down. Tango's in sight. Green sniper, target acquired. Gold 
Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Blunt Scroll. Terrorists have seized control of an airport outside of Mombasa, Kenya. After landing in a cargo plane, the mercenaries stormed the terminal and took a group of students on holiday as hostages. Your mission is to rescue the students and escort them back to the extraction zone. It seems we may have discovered who our copycat is. A news helicopter surveying the operations in the Netherlands spotted someone in a nearby abandoned building observing the scene. We were able to identify him from stills taken from the news footage. His name is David Newcastle, and he's a former member of the top UK counter-terrorism unit. He cashiered following an incident in 1998 in which he tortured and killed captured terrorists. And interestingly enough, at one point he wanted to join Rainbow. Intel's looking at his dossier right now. Newcastle must have figured out we were monitoring his communications and changed his system. That means we're in the dark again. We never saw this one coming. The mercenary team that has taken control of the airport is extremely well armed. They have body armor, and they've got sentries placed at all access points to keep anyone from getting close. David Newcastle was an assault specialist for the National Crime Squad when he was recruited by the SAS. He is a real professional and was one of the best soldiers in his unit. From the file we retrieved, he knew about Rainbow's existence and wanted badly to become a Rainbow Team member. After a hostage rescue mission in Gibraltar resulted in the capture of three terrorists, Newcastle proceeded with their interrogation solo. Afterwards, two of the terrorists needed emergency hospital care for everything from broken bones to severe lacerations. The third was already dead due to blunt trauma to the head. An autopsy revealed multiple broken ribs, a collapsed lung, and several suspicious-looking burns. A subsequent psychological exam on Newcastle revealed aggressive tendencies bordering on psychosis, and he was relieved of duty. Shortly thereafter, we lost track of him and didn't see him again until the Netherlands Ops. He's had intense counter-terrorism training and is now using it against Rainbow. It looks like Mombasa is supposed to echo in Tebe. We know that Newcastle studied the operation intensely in his SAS days, and it seems he wants to test Rainbow against what he thinks he's learned. Let's get back in one piece. Contact. Alpha, go! Go, go, go! Take move that. it! Move it! Move it! Ah. <laughs>
Charlie, go. Bravo, go. Come with me. Lead the way. Lead the way. Escorting hostage. Get the way out of here. Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Broken Scepter. After arriving in Milan, Italy for a conference, the United Nations Secretary General Lord Nigel Cameron was taken hostage by operatives believed to be working with Newcastle. Cameron was captured in his hotel just prior to leaving for the conference, and is being held along with some of the hotel staff. Your mission is to rescue the UN Secretary General and the other hostages. Newcastle is getting desperate. An operation like this is extremely risky, and four Italian police officers have already been shot. This has the local government howling for blood. We're going to have to move fast before someone decides to take matters into their own hands. The only reason the Italians haven't already made an assault is that the UN is holding them back. The Italians did a nice job of extracting Brigadier General Dozier from that apartment building in Padua a few years back, but this situation is a lot touchier, especially with the local casualties. Make sure the Secretary General survives without injury. He's been the key factor in the current round of talks between the United States and China, and losing him would be a major setback. You don't need to be reminded how fragile those talks are. The bad news is that Newcastle himself doesn't seem to be on the premises, but odds are he sent some of his very best people to handle this. Getting Cameron out past them would be a slap in the face to Newcastle. Further research on Newcastle's activities has come up with a fairly accurate picture of what he's been up to since washing out of the SAS. He's been working as a mercenary, taking contracts from around the globe. The bulk of his work has been in the Middle East, but he's taken work from all comers. Our best guess is that he's been using the work to bankroll his attempts to stockpile weapons and resources in order to take revenge on Rainbow. Now it seems he feels like he's in a position to stop preparing and to act instead. I don't need to tell you how high the stakes are now. A blunder on this one, and Rainbow could be exposed discredited and disbanded, and that's exactly what Newcastle wants. He's forcing us into these high-profile situations, and it's not a tenable place for us to be. If we don't catch Newcastle soon, the odds just might catch up to us. As for the UN Secretary General Lord Cameron, he's been mediating the current round of conflicts between the American and mainland Chinese governments, trying to maintain peaceful relations. His efforts have kept a bad situation from getting worse, and without him, we might well be headed for another Cold War.
We've got a lot of people watching this one. Don't let me down. Bravo, go! Delta, go! You're safe now. Am I'm I safe you. now? Mission success. Objective completed.
Operation Empty Cloud Intel projections indicate that Newcastle's mercenaries plan to capture American athletes during the 2004 Summer Games in Athens, Greece. Olympic security forces were informed of the attempt and were able to prepare for the assault. While this allowed them to keep the athletes safe, the terrorists discovered the trap and took security personnel hostage instead. They then retreated to the convention center next to the Olympic Village. Your mission is to rescue the hostages and neutralize Newcastle himself. It would seem he is personally taking part in this operation. Rescuing Secretary General Cameron was more successful than we had hoped. While being held by the terrorists, Lord Cameron was able to overhear a couple of them discussing details of their next move. Furthermore, he was able to confirm that Newcastle did, in fact, take part in the kidnapping. Intel was able to piece together what Cameron overheard with Newcastle's modus operandi and came up with a logical projection of what he was going to do next. We guessed Munich, 1972. And we were right. Anticipating Newcastle's plan to take athletes hostage in Athens, we had started to set up the Olympic Village as an ambush. Unfortunately, site security surprised the terrorists before we were ready. Newcastle and his men took security personnel prisoner, then fell back and locked themselves in the closest building, the convention center. We now have a situation in which the terrorists are trapped in the convention center with an unknown number of hostages. Because of Rainbow's record and experience in dealing with Newcastle's group, we've been asked to neutralize him and rescue the hostages. This mission will take exceptional teamwork and absolute precision. We need to stop Newcastle for good, and this is the best chance we're going to get. The good news is that only Olympic security was involved in the firefight. The bad news is that two of them were killed and an unknown number taken hostage. Newcastle himself is in on this one, which makes things a little more difficult. His record with SAS was dirty, but what he did, he did very well. The guy is sharp, fast and good, and he knows how to place his people. Watch your back on this one. He's a sneaky son of a gun. We won't get any better chance to take him down. Threat neutralized. Threat neutralized. 
online. Objective completed. <laughs>